What's the perfect floor for your basement? All right, let's talk about that for a minute. And I'm gonna kinda try to cover this as short and sweet as possible, but I do wanna cover the majority of the flooring options that could go into your basement. So one of them being carpet. You know, a lot of people dismay carpet because oh, it gets wet and it's heavy to carry out and all that. But let's consider the fact if you were buying a new home, because maybe you're even looking at selling this house or buying another house at some point. If you're buying the house, you're gonna walk down in that basement. The first thing you might notice is, hmm, weird, they have tile or some other hard surface product down there. I wonder if they get water down in the basement on a regular basis. So again, do consider sometimes carpet isn't all bad. You know, we've had this really goofy year this year, but most of the time, if your basement doesn't get wet on an every year basis, it's still not a bad solution. And so if we can do glue down carpet where we're going to glue the carpet directly to the concrete and that product, if we go in and shop back it out really good, we can generally dry it within a 24 to 48 hour window. And that carpet does not need to be removed from the floor. We just clean it up, dry it out and you're good to go. Or we could do a stretch in carpet where we put it over the top of a pad, which case well, the carpet will need to be pulled up usually to get it dry fast enough. And you can take that out into a garage or something and try to again, get some evaporators, some fans going, and again, get it dry in that 24 to 48 hour window if possible. And the pad gets thrown away. It holds so much moisture, we can't generally get it dry fast enough. So it tends to get mildewy and moldy and all that. So we do throw that out, put some new pad in, and the carpet then can be reinstalled stalled. So again, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, we also can do vinyl flooring. So sometimes people don't necessarily think about that right away, but there's vinyl sheet flooring, there's individual vinyl plank flooring, and a few other different types of stuff out there, click lock floated, all that. Those products are waterproof top to bottom because they're technically plastic, but let's consider some things. First one, the glue down individual plank product. Um, so here in town, and again, not to pick on them, but just to give you an example, if you get a chance and wanna swing by and see what I'm talking about, the LVTs that glue down, sometimes relative humidity, RH level, moisture that naturally in vapor form comes through the concrete can actually bring with it minerals and other different stuff that causes two major problems in some of those types of products. It can cause the edges to rise because of the minerals that come through with the moisture, and it can also cause the adhesive to re-emulsify, in other words, becoming liquid adhesive again underneath of those planks. So do be aware, sometimes that needs to be blocked with a moisture moisture mitigation system. And I'll cover that a little bit more here at the end. But before that, the other solutions out there, maybe you do a click lock floated LVP. Well, let's just keep in mind, with the floated versions, if they're waterproof, moisture sometimes can still get underneath of them. And if you don't remove at least a section of that floor, that moisture when you walk across the floor and it wafts a little bit of air underneath of there, sometimes can create a really musty smell. So just make sure if you do get water in that solution, pull up part of that floor to get some air movement and get it dried out really good and then you should be good to roll but because it click locks you can put it back together or even sheet vinyl where it comes in big rolls and sheets same deal sometimes you'll notice a little blistering or otherwise underneath of the floor that's because the moisture is pushing pushing up through a crack or a crevice in there a lot of times you may have to remove a section or even the whole floor dry it out really good and then you can put it back down so those are a couple pretty good solutions, but you know, maybe not a fully permanent solution because you may still have to remove a part or the entirety of the project in order to really take care of it. So let's talk about some permanent solutions to water that comes through the ground. So we could do tiles. So ceramic or porcelain tiles been around for years, been used in pools and all different types of wet applications. And it's a great solution for wet basements and definitely a permanent one at that. Actually, there's a couple companies I've talked to here in town that even with sewer backup, you can actually come in and disinfect it. And even with tile, again, it can stay on the floor. So definitely takes things to the extremes. But tile's kind of pricey. So, you know, maybe that wood look or traditional tile look tile is getting a little out of the price range for you. So I know there's a lot of people looking at some alternatives like painting their floors. So paint or epoxies or things of that nature. But I just want you guys to be aware because there's a lot of misunderstanding out there in those products. A lot of epoxies can't handle the RH level that's coming through the ground naturally and it can cause blistering, flaking, peeling, stuff like that. And I know there's companies out there that have lifetime warranties against that supposedly. And of course, please contact me and I'll explain to you what they mean when they say that. So just be aware there's a few of those problems out there with those products. But that doesn't mean that everything out there 
in that category is bad. So Graniflex, which happens to be this system here, Graniflex actually is set in what's called Permaflex, and Permaflex was specifically designed to waterproof basements, do different types of boat coatings, and all, or, all different types of things. I actually just seen a project that they were doing on Facebook earlier today where they did a huge outdoor mall area with Graniflex. So it can handle exterior, interior environments, but more importantly, it was designed to seal and totally waterproof your installation so um, you know like Thrasher here in town or, or you know different areas they can come in and actually do the mitigation systems they'll put in a beaver system all that but this kind of takes things a little bit of a step further because you're sealing all that moisture cracks crevices and otherwise with a rubberized sealant that completely penetrates into the concrete and does not let moisture come up and through anymore at all so there is some solutions out there like that and we can do Granaflex where it actually has this kind of nice what they call granite look to it where we actually do a flaking into the product that helps protect the permaflex is one thing about it you're going to put some money into this investment you want to protect that waterproofing so it doesn't get tore or get a hole in it that way again it continues to block that moisture. But another neat thing with doing that, or Ardex even has a product called MC Rapid, we can block the moisture so we can do epoxy, we can do the LVT glue down that I talked about earlier, or many other installations as well. And there again, they will be a permanent solution because now we've blocked that moisture. And these products will even block radon gas and some other stuff. So there's even further benefits to these products. But please get in contact with us, either stop by the shop or give us a call and make sure you guys like share or comment because we'd love to hear some of your comments and concerns and thoughts on some of these things for basements you know what what's happening in your basement do you have water coming through the walls uh, is it just moisture issues you know we can talk more about some of those solutions